what's up guys got this s14 rack right here we're gonna be painting it today so got it all prepped up and ready for paint all we have to do now is just heat up the rack since it's a little bit cold here in new jersey heat it up so the paint will adhere properly so we're gonna heat up the rack now then we'll uh get to heating up our paint cans as well heat up a little bit so they stick nice all right, so we got this we got this rack all heated up now. So we're showing around 70 60 and a half. Well, hot over here, got 100. It's bouncing and 60. So it should be good. Should be warmed up. Should be good enough to spray some paint on and let it let it soak in. So I'm going to heat up the paint can a little bit, shake it up and we'll start spraying down some primer paint can all warmed up it should be reading yeah roughly 60 degrees it's not bad considering it's 30 outside so it gives a good little shake up put this guy in my pocket in case we need to see what temp this stuff's laying at all right we'll give this a good shake for a couple minutes and then we'll start spraying all these little crevices in the first go around ready to go it's looking nice and smooth I'm liking the way it came out it's nice and nice and hot right now it's hovering around 75 degrees with this heat lamp on it so now I'm gonna heat up our uh, our base coat, we're going to shoot it on. Try to get every crack, every crevice. Trying to get nice even coverage trying to make this thing look really nice All right. Let's get up top and down below So now we're going to spray on our final coat. Actually, I should say, not even our final coat, our final paint. I'm going to try to get two or three light coats on it. And it should look pretty sweet. So I'm going to get the spray now. We just shook up our can, shake up a little bit more, and we'll be good to go. Get this side, get those crevices, and then get up here. And then down low.
in those hard to reach areas again. All right, we'll make our way around one more time. Get the sides we didn't get. The little crevices we didn't get. All right. Looking real good, so. We'll let this dry. I'll probably come back in a couple days and we'll do we'll do a coat of clear on it. Make it pop a little bit more. And this thing will be ready to get assembled and put together. What's up guys? We're back again. Getting some footage of this rack. Get nice and close for you guys. Came back the next day, let it sit overnight and set up. Now we're gonna get our clear coat on and seal this thing up so it doesn't mess up the paint on it. So, gonna heat up this rack a little bit, shake up our can, and then we'll start spraying. See you guys in a second. All right, guys, we are ready to do our second coat of clear and we'll be fully done. Start going on it. our last coat of clear done I'll let this set up and then we'll get more pictures of it for you guys that's it I'm painting it pretty simple prep is key on anything you paint all right so made it nice and simple prepped it nice primed it black base coat and then our final paint and then we had our clear coat to top it off. Came out really nice. I honestly don't even want to put this in the car at this point because it looks so nice. I just want to put it on display, but definitely going to be putting it in the car. It has a nice centerpiece. So there you have it, guys. That's how you paint it. We'll have some pictures up for it for you guys soon. Thanks for watching, guys. What's up, guys? This is what the steering rack looks like now. It's been a few days, everything's all dried, everything's finished. I topped it off with some Chase Bay's um, power steering lines. They look great on this. So the color really does pop in the right light. It came out fantastic. I can't be any more happier. It just looks great. I'm super pleased. So I just want to give you guys a quick visual up close to it just moves so well in the light and pops any way you look at it. So yep, just wanted you guys to see it. Final product looks amazing. Sweet. All right guys, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. We're going to have more content coming out for you guys. Thanks again.